So how does it feel to get the uh, first first flip of the year? I mean, we've been all waiting for it. <laughs> I've been waiting for it. You guys have been waiting for it. The fans have been waiting for it. So I feel like it was the right time, to be honest. Like, we were down. We needed that extra push. And I don't know, it was probably like a few minutes before halftime. Something in my head just told me, keep going. I just made one run and the ball so happened to came right back to me. And it was a simple tap in. So good to have the first goal for the season and the first flip of the season for sure. How many more flips should we expect? Ah. To be honest, I don't know. I need to get on I need to finish them headers and and stuff too. Because I've been getting a few chances on the headers in a few games. So I need to as soon as I tighten it, tighten it up on that area, should should be able to get a few more flips, for sure. How much emphasis do you put on transition from the defense to attack, given your ability on the ball to pass and pass? I mean, it's key to our game. I mean, I don't usually like do it often, like pick it up from the back and then run straight forward. But as I said, like I felt like we needed something different at that point, and I just felt like I could have done a little a little extra so I just kept going I just kept going and it fell in our favor after you played the ball off to Arturo on the goal you were like 60 yards from goal mm -hmm. but you made the run into the box mm -hmm. why'd you make that run as I said it was just a just a feeling I had like it was we were it was like uh probably two minutes before halftime and I just felt like I was I could go so I just, I just went, I just kept on running and ball happened to get to Claudio up there. He pulled it back, came to me and I, it was a simple tap in. It feels a bit mean to dwell on it given it was a win, but on that one goal that was conceded, what mm -hmm. was going on there from your perspective? I think uh, it was just like a, a, a little bit of miscommunication at the back. Uh, but it's nothing like... Uh, Nothing that we can't fix. It's nothing to be worried about. We just need to look look at the film and see what we could have done better. Probably talk more. Uh, guys behind and everything probably put some more pressure or something. But we'll watch the film over and over again and see what we could have done to prevent that goal. And you've been playing at centre back a lot more recently. Mm -hmm. Have you found that adjustment? Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of similar to be honest. Like it's just. Playing, used to playing as a number six and then a center back. It's kind of like close. So it hasn't been hard for me to adjust. But for me, it's like, however I can help the team in whatever way, I will I will step up and do it. you like goal, goalkeeper had any hope on Luis's shot? Uh, no, no way, no way. <laughs> no chance, no chance. When it's coming off that left boot, miracle. Something magical is going to happen, trust me. Uh, it's just to show that we we got it in us. I mean, we're never we might be down for a little bit of time, but we're never out. You know, we just need to dig deep, which we did, and like uh, we've won six straight games in the past two weeks or so. So that's been super good, and we have a lot more coming. Getting a day, uh, might get an extra day off of training to start the week. Uh, I mean, that would be nice. <laughs> Whatever the gaffer says, Rick, you know. Rick's told us it's oh yeah. So. so, thank you, thank you, Rick. We need it. So, one more day to recover, and we we're back again, back back at it again. Uh, probably in two days or three days or so.